Alrighty. Whew. Oh yeah. What's going on friends? My name is John Waldman. I'm a filmmaker based in New York. And today we're talking about my top 10 favorite features about the Sony FX6. The features that I'm about to list off, they're in no order in particular. It's not necessarily features that are proprietary to the FX6, but anyways, let's get it going. Number one is the variable ND filter. Not only is it great to have ND filters built into your camera, but the fact that it's variable is such a game changer. Being able to make tiny adjustments to your exposure without having to changing any settings really is a dream. I love it so much. A lot of the work I do is very run and gun, so ND filters are a must, especially when I'm outdoors. But having that variable ND is just so freaking nice. This is the first camera I've ever used that's had it. I know other cameras do have it, but I freaking love this feature and now I feel like I can't live without it. Number two is the S-Cinetone profile. My last video, which I'll link somewhere, I, I don't know how to do this yet. But uh, anyways, my last video that I made was all about S-Cinetone and I listed a bunch of reasons why I love it and why you should use it. But in short, it's my favorite Rec 709 baked in profile. It has a good amount of dynamic range. The colors are beautiful out of the box. It's great when you have a project that's quick turnaround. I couldn't recommend it more. So number three is the codex and resolution. Everything this camera records in is 422 10-bit. This means you're getting a ton of color information. I love that Sony hasn't crippled this camera. You get 10-bit throughout all the resolutions, 4K and 1080, and also throughout all of the frame rate, which include up to 120 in 4K and up to 240 in 1080 HD. There's no crops, there's no weird, you can't use autofocus. You get the full 10-bit quality throughout every single mode. Thanks, Sony. So number four is the minimal rolling shutter. I can't tell you how much of a game changer this has been, especially when you're shooting handheld. Before when I would shoot with my older mirrorless cameras, you'd always see that weird rolling shutter effect. This camera has such little rolling shutter, I feel like it's almost like a global shutter. So it's been such a game changer for handheld footage. It just, I, I can't really put my finger on it, but it just makes your footage look super dope. And things aren't gonna go wacky all over the place when you whip it around, so love that. So number five is the size and shape of the camera. I love that out the box you get a really small package. Because the camera is so light, you really save your back when doing a lot of handheld work. Number six is the autofocus. Now this is coming from someone that came from an A7S II where that camera is completely unusable for autofocus. I know, Sony, I wish in a firmware update, you know, you could click touch to focus, that would be great. But I mean, right out the box with the exact stock settings, I, you know, I got this camera with the kit. So with the 24 to 105, I put it on. The eye tracking is insane. I'm serious. You know, there's been times where I'm, you know, filming someone cross the street and I'm all the way out at 105. The camera pulls better focus than I can. And that's a freaking game changer. It's just like, it's unbelievable. So I am very happy with the autofocus. Maybe in my top five or 10 least favorite things about this camera. I'll complain about the autofocus, but for now it's a huge step up. I've never had autofocus in a camera that I could actually rely on in a professional setting. Number seven, the footage is super easy to edit. The MXF files are a dream. It's like, it's really night and day. Sometimes with my A7S II with the MP4 files, even in 4K and now, I have a pretty beefed up iMac, but sometimes, you know, if it's a pretty big 4K edit, you need to make proxies or whatever. With this camera, I don't even need to make proxies. And that's just another thing that's made this investment so worthwhile. Number eight, the dual base ISOs, 800 and 12,800. I mean, are you kidding me? What, what, what world are we living in that the high base ISO is 12,800? I mean, that's just really insane. This camera is a low light beast. Dare I say it's the king of low light. That doesn't mean you shouldn't light your scenes. Lighting will always be king. But you know, when there's times where you need to push that ISO where you know, you're working on something at night and you really need to do it, or you're just in a run and gun docu setting, having that ISO push is really clutch, especially when you wanna get clean footage at night and you don't have the time and more crew to light up your scene. Number nine is XLRs. You have two XLRs built into this camera and the top handle, which I guess actually is something I might complain about in a later video. But anyways, that's a game changer. I, you know, I'm coming from the world of mirrorless and if I wanted to do an interview, I would have to bring my zoom with me and then patch my zoom into my A7S. No more having to lug around all those extra things. XLR right into camera, saves you time. You don't have to sync it in post. So very appreciative of that. Last but certainly not least is the ergonomics. 
You buy this camera out the box, it's just ready to go. The grip, the handle, the LCD, slap a lens on there and you're good to go. This is one of the things where, you know, my work was progressing and there was a lot more things that I needed like ND sound and more, you know, something that would be better for a handheld operation. And you know, with those tiny mirrorless cameras, you kind of got to like rig them out. They don't always quite work how you need them to work. I just love the ergonomics of this camera. It just feels really good to operate. All the buttons are nice and laid out on the side. There's buttons on the hand grip, the side grip, the top grip. You have everything you need on the side. You could customize everything. So just, yeah, the ergonomics of this camera are fantastic. And you'll know what I mean the second you pick it up. All right guys, so that's about it for today. That was my top 10 favorite features about the Sony FX6. Be on the lookout for my next video. Uh, spoiler alert, it's gonna be my top 10 least favorite things about this camera. Um, but yeah guys, if you like this video, please be sure to like, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. Cheers guys. All right, one and done. Let's see if that audio or anything sounded good there. <laughs>